Welcome to Career Journeys, a series of videos by the Consortium for Public Education. Here we explore the career experiences and pathways of professionals from a wide variety of careers to help you think about the skills you'll need and the paths you might take after high school. Hi, I'm Debbie Pixton with the Consortium for Public Education. Today I'm interviewing Stacy Federoff, a public relations graduate student at Point Park University. Thank you so much for joining us, Stacy. Debbie, thanks for having me. Stacy, you're currently a graduate assistant at Point Park in the Public Relations Department. Can you tell us what that means and what you do? <laughs> As a graduate assistant, uh, they have a program at Point Park where you're able to earn a master's degree and work for the university at the same time. So I work 20 hours a week, which is like part time, and take three classes every semester. Uh, and over the course of a couple years, we'll earn my master's degree. And then the, being a graduate assistant, your tuition is uh, covered in addition to being paid for the work that you're doing part-time. So Stacy, you've held a variety of positions in the communications field. Can you tell us a little bit about your career path? I graduated from York High School in Westmoreland County. Um, and I started out knowing that I really like to write, but I sort of got interested in poetry first and creative writing. When it came to kind of thinking about what, what I was going to do after high school, I knew I wanted to go to college um, for something related to writing. And I realized that as a poet, uh, in rare cases, can you get paid every day to write poetry? So then I thought, uh, what about being a journalist? They get, you know, the newspaper comes out every day. Somebody's got to write all those stories. And I, you know, declared my major, I went to Penn State and I worked on the student newspaper, which was almost as valuable as the classes themselves. I graduated in, at the end of December and uh, was able to start in January um, writing for the trip. I was able to cover my hometown. Um, which was like a huge thrill for me um, and, and right for the weekly paper. I really didn't know much about Beaver County, which is north of Pittsburgh, but uh, they had a daily paper, a newspaper. So I applied to, actually originally it was a crime, I was a cops and courts reporter position there. Um, but when I went into the interview, they said, oh, we also have a copy editor position open. And I had worked as a copy editor at the student newspaper. The copy editor um, is kind of like that second line of like editing, reading the stories, also designing the pages. Um, then I also handled social media uh, as part of that role. And I was there about two years before um, it was announced that they, would they were actually selling the paper to a national large uh, corporation. I saw that there, there was a position open at the Pittsburgh Business Times. And actually that, that was a, uh, the role was called di a digital producer. And so that was actually a little bit even more removed from reporting, dealing mainly with social media, the website and editing. Uh, we put out a newsletter every morning and every afternoon. And I was the one who decided what, uh, what stories were gonna go where with the help of the, um, the other editors and the rest of the staff. I spent um, about a year at the, at the Pittsburgh Business Times before um, I saw that there was an opportunity to become uh, a graduate assistant at the Center for Media Innovation. I knew that would be a good opportunity to earn a master's degree in something related to journalism, but knowing that, you know, I had been laid off twice in newspapers that um, you know had to kind of adapt um, to the way the industry was going. Thinking about communications broadly, right? You've had you've been a journalist, you've been a digital content producer, you've been an editor, um, and now you're studying more public relations. Um, what are some skills that make you really good at any of those positions or all of those positions? Well, like I talked about, you know, just just the curiosity start out with. Also being detail oriented, I think really helps because, you know, fixing a comma or recognizing a typo um, is something that um, 
you know, you do a lot. The small picture things contribute to the bigger picture. I want the story that I'm trying to get across to be as clear as possible. So I don't want someone who's reading or watching or listening to the story I'm telling to stumble over things like punctuation or typos. Um, so um, connecting the dots in that way and critical thinking skills are also um, really important. Uh, you recognize like, oh, you're, oh, I'm, I'm interested in that. I have questions to ask about that. Like what, would that be something that other people are also interested in? And how can I tell that story through, through, you know, the resources that I have available to me or through the people who, who is the best person that I can reach out to, to tell that story um, and convey that to um, the reader or the viewer or the listener. Stacy, what has surprised you either as a journalist or in public relations that you didn't, wouldn't have expected as you think about those careers at, from being a high school student, for example? If you're the bookworm that's in the library all the time, um, or you know, you really like writing essays, that, that you can take that and apply it to different fields. So public relations, is doing that storytelling, but through an organization. So if you're really, you know, if you're really interested and passionate about being a, a teacher or a police officer, you can take that storytelling and work for a school district, a police department, an, inside an organization, and then tell the stories through, through them. The path that I took took me through journalism because I physically saw the newspaper. We, we you know, got the newspaper all the time and, uh, and that was like, I could, I could do that. Um, but that, because there's less and less of that, you know, um, it's kind of tough to like figure out like, oh, I, I want to do this, but I don't know how. Uh, on the other hand, it's so, it's so much easier. You can, learn the skills just you know you have your phone in your pocket all the time so you can you can practice shooting video um recording audio just about about anything that you're you're interested in and then you know learn the software a little bit at a time and then narrow it down <laughs> into uh into into a, an actual career. So Stacy, if I'm in high school and I'm thinking that I might be interested in a career in communications, what kinds of questions should I ask myself if I want to know if this might be a good fit for me? I think like I, like I mentioned, if you're curious, if you're detail oriented, if you like to read and write, sometimes I think communications is more about like taking a step, a step back. So you're behind the scenes. If you know, you're not always necessarily the the center of the story. You're the one telling the story. Um, so uh, it's an important job, but there's there's like a distinction there. You're not you're not the main character. You're the storyteller. <laughs> um, and so if if it's something where you you think your personality is going to be in the forefront, it might not be the best fit. Um, or you know, there might be something adjacent that you could do but but if you want to tell other people's stories um this communications is a good field all right so what's one piece of advice you would offer to students who are aspiring to have a career in communications i would say read and write as much as you can and not just the headlines on social media uh you know read the full stories, seek out different points of view, different types of media, and different types of people with different backgrounds who are writing in order to broaden your perspective and learn what kind of field you might like to study. You know, if it's food or business or sports or entertainment, learn as much as you can from a broad, broad variety of people. Seeking out those perspectives then helps you develop your own point of view. Stacy, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and experiences with us today. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. For more information or to learn about other careers in the Career Journey series, 
visit our website and check back soon for our next installment. Thanks!